these two fucks just pulled up to my shop. I kind of want to see Tim's car after we lowered it. These fuckers think they are. Go up and kick his ass. <laughs> How's it ride? Your ass hurts. It just springs. <laughs> it looks a lot better. You like it? Good. Oh lord, I'm gonna get it kicked out. Are you guys coming in? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> These motherfuckers, I swear to God. Five hours later. What's going on, you guys? It's Tim back. Working back on my car. Working on my car again. Uh, I'm going to do a couple things first. I'm going to... Well, first, let me say... I'm going to clickbait this pretty well. Uh, this is how to get your car lower for free. So I have here, pay attention to my phone or my dirty ass table. Uh, I have 20k Swift Springs that I'm going to be cutting. Uh, I'm trying to get a better idea. Let me go on the other side of this better light. I'm going to, I have a, a good idea on what kind of fitment I want for this rear. Right now, it's not so flush, and I'm trying to get it flush, so it's not low enough either. I can't really tell with this lighting, but what I'm going to be doing is this this coil over the shock is kind of seized, and I need to get it off anyways because I'm trying to bring it lower, obviously, uh, but what I'm trying to do with these springs is I'm going to cut one inch off of them. And I've already measured it on both ones. I don't know if you could see it on that one, but I've already cut, or I've already marked inch on each one. And that's pretty, pretty spot on for both, I would say. I already had these springs. Didn't cost me anything. Uh, the 5Ks in this, which I swapped over before, before we did the spring install for Tim's car. It's way too soft. It's rubbing. Uh, I go out of my driveway driveway, and it's rubbing and I'm not happy with it. I ran these last year. I loved how these were and how my ride, you know, I didn't rub, I didn't hit anything, I didn't scrape, I didn't anything. Just want to, I want that back, but I want to be lower. So I'm going to get these springs out, well, jack the car up, take the wheels off, get the spring off on this side, get the spring off on this side, but then also get the uh, the strut off because I have to unseize it. I have to see if there's like just grime and build up to see if there's anything like actually like blocking the threads from making it lower. All right, I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna get these wheels off. I'm gonna get the lug nuts off. I'm gonna do all this. I already said it too many times. By the way, forgot to mention, I have my plastic sheeting. Uh, now we can do the front splitter. 
can actually finish it. I have two. What am I going to do? Hmm. I don't know. I think this needs to go. Look at that. It's just flopping. Oh, can't even see it. Look. Just flopping around. I'm going to get rid of that. Get rid of that and make something, huh? What do you think? I think I could. I think I should. All right. Let's get these uh, wheels off. I already broke them. I already got them loose. By the way, kids at home, don't buy aluminum lug nuts. They suck. This one I know needs to be balanced. So actually look into that. Okay. One side done. Alright, so aluminum uh, lug nuts. They fucking suck. Uh, when I purchased these I didn't know they were aluminum. And when I did it, I got them. It was too late. I, I used them for a season, regrettably, but it got one of them stuck. That was the first two, the second and third video, actually. But uh, as you can see, kind of hard one-handed. Done so. All right, now I gotta get those pesky bolts off. So, as you can see, the 5Ks and my strut kind of suck. I'm gonna try and take it off. Oh, oh. oh would you look at that? Um, I don't think I need the extender. That's for the lug nuts. Break a bar. Oh my god, look at that. The right tool. Oh. Didn't even know this was still under here. Rip that off when I get to the other side. Alright, there's one. Oh, that's on there. Now watch out camera, watch out people watching. The spring might pop out. You serious right now? Okay. Spring didn't exactly come out, but... One second. Oh, shouldn't be able to do that. Oh my god, look at that. This piece of shit. Fucking soft shit, man. This is 5K springs. No more. No more. Okay, on to the next one. Aw. Oh, the jack stuck on my cardboard. Fuck me. Break a bar. That should do it. Look at this lightsaber. Yeah, that should be it. Uh, I'm gonna go eat something really fast. Cause I haven't eaten since two o'clock. And it is now 8.14. So I'm gonna eat something, cut these springs, get that shock off, maybe vice versa. I might even wanna try to put on those uh, two inch spacers. We'll see. I'm gonna go eat something really fast. Probably go take a shit. I will catch you guys in a minute. Alright, so I got my little setup. I'm gonna use a death wheel and uh, I'm gonna bring the sparks away from my car, away from cardboard. Let's see. Alright, 
Oh, that's right. Okay. I'm going to take this off. I can't. Oh. What the? It's like 30, 35 degrees out right now. All right. So I got both of them done. I think that's pretty decent taking off that much. So if I measure it, you can see. It is now six inches. So these were 20K seven inch springs because that's the height of the stock spring. Now, when I ordered them, I didn't account for, you know, the spring compressing and the 20Ks can't compress. So the difference is pretty noticeable, I would say. So now I got to get the shock off and try to see what the problem with that is. See you in a minute. Yeah, yeah. All right, I've got the shut out. I'm uh, kind of disappointed because uh, I'll well, take a look. So it wouldn't thread down because there's no room to thread. Look how long this is. That's ridiculous. Now, every take in mind, these are not D2s. These aren't BCs, KWs. These are mono. What are they? Godspeed Mono SS. Now, I heard a lot of good things about the brand for XBs, so I took the chance. It's like the next step up from Racelands, but a step down from BCs. Uh, the shock is still good. It still compresses, it still decompresses. So it still works, but I couldn't get it to thread down, and that's, that's why. That's the problem. I can't go any farther, and I'm gonna have to, if I want to, I have to contact the company but I don't see that happening. So I'm just gonna put this back together, slap those springs in and uh, see how it sits. And then we'll just, we'll just go from there. Okay, I got the strut back. Uh, let's go put this back in the back of the car. Uh, it's pretty dark back here, hold on. Oh. Let's grab this. Yeah, let there be light, bitches. Uh, let's see, what can I hook this on? What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Just turn it. Oh, look at my trunk. So this is me trying to do my audio. Um, the subwoofers are right over there. Right there. So... I gotta get the coilover back on, so right here. Just gotta feed it through the wheel well, and then we'll install the springs, see how it sits, and then maybe, I'm just gonna hand tighten the, uh, the lug nuts on. 
Maybe we can do the two inch. I, I want to see how this sits first. The sitting is the, the biggest thing. I want to see the fitment. All right, we'll be back. I will pick up the camera when I'm putting the wheels back on because this is going to be tedious. <laughs> All right, I'm done. At least I think um, springs are in place, shocks are in place. I mean, it, it sits pretty. Here, let me get a, let me get the light. I keep it to come and get, come and get this light. But I think for now this should be good. But it's gonna rub. I already know it's gonna rub. I think, I think the fitment is pretty decent for what it is. I mean, I'm close on every aspect. This side gave me some troubles. This side gave me some troubles, but I also fixed my side skirt. Uh, it was a little bit like too or too pushed in for my liking, but uh, I fixed that. Uh, I swapped all the lug nuts to these new steel ones. Fuck these aluminum. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go take the car for a test drive. I'm gonna go see how it feels, see how it rides, and uh, I'll get back to you. You guys, uh, take it easy. I'll be back in like, well, for you, it'll be like five seconds. Oh. Oh. I realized I uh, never closed out, oh shit, I'm not even pointing at myself, never closed out last night's video. Uh, as you can see, the car's back on the ground, I'm driving it. Uh, it feels pretty good. I am rubbing on my rear right, which was the problem I've been dealing with. <laughs> but I think it's uh, I think it's okay. I'm only rubbing just a tiny, tiny bit, and the aluminum tape that I put over my wheel well to see where I'm rubbing at, I don't see any like spots that's as bad as the left. Uh, I mean, you can you can hear it. I'm not like actually rubbing, but it is stiff. It is very, very stiff. But I'm low. I'm a lot lower than I was last year, and I enjoy it. I like it. I want to do more, but I have to either go smaller uh, smaller tire, I have to go bigger wheel and smaller tire, or that's it. Yeah, those are the only two. Th I, can't, I, I don't think camber will work. I think camber will do something, but I can't like do like negative three and think it's going to fix anything. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll check you all in the next one.